And good evening from the Capitol. Obviously, the president is getting ready to deliver his speech, and members of Congress are getting ready to listen to his speech. I'm joined by one of them now, Elise Stefanik, uh, Republican uh, member from north of Albany. Thanks so much for being here. I appreciate it. Happy to be here. What is your expectation for tonight? What, do you, what are you listening for? So I think tonight is an opportunity, and I expect to hear from President Trump a unifying speech. I expect that he will focus on infrastructure. I expect that he'll also highlight uh, the opioid and heroin epidemic that is wreaking havoc across the country, including in my district. Those are unifying issues, and I think it's reaching out to Democrats as well as Republicans to come together as a nation. I think this is an optimistic uh, opportunity for uh, our nation to show leadership. Some people say that this is an opportunity for him to reset, pivot. Um, you probably heard that before, but then in a couple of days, he will go back to being uh, somewhat more of his confrontational self, which will not bring about the kind of resolution to these issues. Do you think that tonight is really an opportunity for, for a new President Trump? Well, I think if you look back to his joint address last year, it was very unifying. It did call on Democrats. He did reach across the aisle. And this president has continued to work to negotiate on big issues impacting this country, whether it's immigration and border security, whether it was his outreach uh, during the tax reform discussion. Although that did pass in a party line vote, the administration did reach out to Democrats. And I anticipate tonight he will be reaching out across the aisle to all Americans to talk about issues like infrastructure, to talk about real rebuilding our nation's military, which has an impact on my district since I represent Fort Trump, and to talk about the opioid epidemic. Um, and who are you bringing tonight? Members of Congress can bring a guest, and usually there's some symbolism to it. Yes, yeah, so I'm very excited. I am bringing Sarah Pratt, who is the daughter of a trooper who was killed in the line of duty in a tragic accident last year. She's from South Glens Falls. Uh, I'm excited to have here today in honor of our law enforcement families who uh, give so much. Um, and in her case, it's a tragic story, but she really rallied and rebuilt strength around her family. I had the opportunity to meet her at her father's funeral. So I'm excited to host her here today. I'm sure she's excited to be here. She is excited. Okay. Congresswoman, thank you so much for being here. We'll have coverage